So it's 7 o'clock, I'm not quite at the first job. I slept like shit, so I'm just stopping in to get a second coffee for the morning. Uh, and I was thinking about it, and I thought I'd be able to provide you guys more entertainment and learning value if I start dropping more secrets, secrets about how I run the business. Um, a lot of people like to guard their secrets, think of it as their IP. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna tell you exactly how I find leads, how I look at jobs, um, a lot of the time I think I'm going to tell you what I charge for the job um, and we're just going to see what happens if I just put the truth out. So that spirit, the way I find all my leads is on Hire Pages. Uh, Hire Pages is a, a job sourcing application, uh, they sponsor the block, that's how I found out about them. Very, very similar to Airtask, if you're watching this in the US. Um, but essentially what it, the way it works is I have a $520 a month subscription and they give me lead credit of $720. And now that's just like an in-game currency sort of situation. Um, <clears throat> and I can buy leads off them using the lead credit that they've given me. Leads vary from seven to $27. Um, uh, just depending on the, uh, the profile of the, the lead. Headstream jobs are usually more expensive, so they're usually more expensive leads, um, whereas like a small little weeding job often ends up being a bit cheaper. Um, it's sort of based on demand and cost of job. Um, so that's how I find my leads. I'll typically sit there on the weekend and accept anywhere from maybe five to 50 new leads every weekend. No, that seems too high. Five to 25 new leads every weekend. Um, and I have an auto message program in my phone and it's called intro one. I type in intro one This is saving time. This is a real hack intro one and then it populates automatically. G'day Andy here from Smart Yards um, and uh, I got your lead from high pages. I just wanted to uh, offer you a quote um, And usually people write back. Yes, please. Thank you. Not a problem. So you got to think then I have intro two, which is perfect. Um, and then I never go on site if I can help it. Because even if the site's five minutes from you, yeah, it costs you five minutes to get, well, five minutes to put your shoes on, five minutes to get there, five minutes, well, it's usually 10 minutes on the site. So an hour for 20 minutes, and then 10 minutes on the way back, and then you gotta unwind as well. So you're at, I lost my account. I'm pretty sure it's half an hour. And the reality is it usually ends up wasting an hour doing the quote. Um, so I'll only go and do the quotes on jobs that just look like chaos. Um, but what you want to do is you don't want to be selling your time as an hourly thing. What you're doing though is you're selling your time. So you want to get really clever how you visually merchandise your time and cost up your time. Um, and the best way to sell your time is not by selling it as your time. So a lot of people will be like, I'm charging $60 an hour, or $70 an hour, or $80 an hour. That's fucking dumb. That's fucking dumb. Charge per square meter where you can. Charge per little meter where you can. Um, because people have, uh, because everyone knows what their time is worth. Everyone knows what their time is worth. Um, but nobody knows what a per square meter of a hedge is worth. So you get less objection in this way. Um, and, to be honest with you, you can actually, if you're quoting on time, you are going to struggle because um, you gotta to go to every job and check it out and think how long this is gonna take me. Whereas if you know a lineal meter of hedge, taking the top of it when it's a meter tall, costs fifteen dollars a meter, and there's ten meters of hedge, great hundred and fifty dollar hedge shrimp, not a problem. Your green waste remember, well, that's eighty two dollars fifty a meter, and I think that there's gonna be a half a meter thing, so it's forty dollars on time. This the clever way to quote jobs. Stop selling your time, or sell your time, but don't sell it as time. Pack you up differently. Anyway, that's enough for one. Uh, this is first gig up this morning. Uh, actually all day, is just waiting. I'm just waiting all day long. Um, which might sound tedious. But the reality is waiting's great because no one wants to do waiting. So you can charge well for it. Not as well as hedge trimming better than you'd think. Um, back to my point earlier about only charging square meters. It's almost impossible to do that with 
weeding, you have to do it per hour because it varies on so many things. It varies on the how compact the soil is, the density of the weeds, the type of the weeds. Um, so yeah, I charge based on hour, <coughs> and the the rate is eighty bucks an hour for weeding. Um, that's come. Um, can't hang on to that. Um, but it's not so bad because it's it's low impact. A lot of people find weeding tedious. I've come to like it because it's therapeutic. And it's really hard to hurt yourself weeding um, unless you have an issue with thorns. Um, yeah, I've seen that happen. But there's less chance of hurting yourself than using a tool. <clears throat> so that's good. And you're not wasting any tools either. And it's not physically demanding work. I mean, yeah, it's just it's relaxing. So I enjoy it. So just doing through here, all the way up there. And you can see it's pretty, it doesn't look too thick in the camera there, but I've got to get all this old dead fluff out too. And then I've got this. That is not a plant, that is a weed. And that is buffalo growing up through that bush. And into the star jasmine, so. That'll be fun. All right. We got this all weeded up now, the whole way along. Oh, there's just a couple of shoots of mist here. It was a big job. Took two hours 40. I thought it was going to take 2 hours 30, so not too far off. Alright, we're out the back. So, just weeding through here. Got some veggie patches over there to do. And then this whole strip, the whole way down there. Under these hydrangeas as well. Um, it might not look that much on video, but I've allowed 3.5 hours for this. So we'll see how we go. And that's how you deconstruct a garden bed. All right, I just filled all those big holes in with some dirt from the backyard. They're all done through here, which is sick. Down there's all weeded. This whole yard's weeded too. It's all through here. It's done. Over there is done, veggie patch. All there. That's grass. Looks like it should be weeded, but it's uh, above the floor. And then over there, it's all done too. So it's looking spiffy.
Check that out. That and that. And this.